Is this too much breast juice? Yeah. No? Yes? It is hotter than Hades in my kitchen today. We are having a heat wave in Los Angeles, and that means that the last thing I want to do is turn on my oven or my stove. We're going to grill instead, and I'm going to make one of my family's favorites, Thai steak salad. I'm using a tri-tip, but you can use flank steak, skirt steak, flat iron, whatever your preferred grilling steak is. And I'm gonna do a bigger portion of meat because we're all home right now, and that means if I make more, then we can have something for lunch the next day. So this is about a four pound tri-tip. And for that, you'll need half a cup of vegetable oil. You can use canola, grapeseed, avocado oil, half a cup of fish sauce, and half a cup of brown sugar. Just mix that all together and then coat and marinate your meat. Leave that in the refrigerator overnight. The great thing about this marinade is that you can use it with any meat. I like using it with skinless, boneless chicken thighs and pork tenderloin. Same thing, marinate it overnight and you can even just put it over rice the next day. You don't even have to do all the other things we're gonna do today and you've got a great quick dinner. For the dressing, you'll need one third cup warm water, three and a half tablespoons of white sugar. We're gonna stir that up and get that sugar dissolving a little bit in the warm water. Half a cup of fish sauce. Four tablespoons of lime juice. One small Thai chili or any spicy chili you can find. You can make this more or less depending on your preference for heat. And one teaspoon minced garlic. I like to use the microplane for this. I really love using my microplane for garlic and ginger whenever I'm making a salad dressing. It gets so tiny, the flavor really distributes throughout that sauce or that dressing much more easily and you don't get any chunks of raw garlic. Stir that up, make sure all the sugar is dissolved and give that a taste. Mmm, mmm, that's perfect. Starting with our romaine. Slice it up into bite-sized pieces. Cucumber, we're gonna peel the cucumber and take out all the seeds with a spoon. Then we'll just cut this into little batons. We're gonna peel the carrots and grate them on a box cutter. Box cutter, that's not a box cutter. Menopause is killing my brain. We're gonna peel these and shred them on a box grater, which looks disgusting and needs to be cleaned. This week in my CSA box, I got these beautiful breakfast radishes as well as some Tokyo turnips. I don't normally put these in the salad, but because I have them this week and they're so gorgeous, I am going to dice them up as well, but these are optional. Some chopped salted peanuts, spring onions, mint and cilantro from my garden today. You can also use Thai basil. They don't have that in the stores right now, but it is delicious. So if you can find it, use it. We are all prepped and ready with our dressing and our salad. And all we have left to do now is cook rice and grill our tri-tip. I'm gonna use basmati rice. I'm gonna cook two cups of basmati rice in my rice cooker. Not if, jasmine rice? did I say basmati? Yeah, let me start again. I'm gonna use two cups of jasmine rice and cook these in a rice cooker, which is one of my all-time favorite appliances. If you don't have a rice cooker, just cook your rice according to however you normally do that on the stove top in an instant pot. And then we're gonna grill the steak. I've heated up my gas grill with one burner on high and my other two burners on medium low. I'm cooking my tri-tip on the cool side of the grill and I'll be flipping that every five minutes or so to get an even cook and also to help the outside of it char and get that nice crust. Here's the fat side of our tri-tip. Put that down first so that we can get some of that fat rendering. A little flare up there, but not too bad. I'm gonna let that sear for five minutes, turn it over, let it sear for five more minutes on the other side, and then I'll let it cook for another 20 to 25 minutes. I like my steak medium, so I'm gonna cook it to about 135, 138. Whenever you cook something on the grill, you wanna take it off at a temperature lower than your final temperature because it's going to continue cooking when you give it a little resting time at the end. I've 
got it at 135 in the lowest point, so it'll be a little bit more rare in those areas and a little bit more well done in a few others. I got a nice char on there. I'm gonna cover this and let it rest for 10 minutes before we carve into it and make the salad. Let's carve this up. I'm gonna save these juices as a little extra, extra, you can pour over this. These end bits are gonna be more done, so that's pretty well done in there, but as we get in there, we're gonna get some nice medium pieces as well. There we go. Oof, that's exactly how I like it. Little bit pink. Okay, we're gonna assemble our salad. Set out our salad first. I'm gonna push this out to the sides because I'm gonna put the rice and the meat in the middle. Get our cucumbers. Let's turn up. Some more of our little pieces. We're gonna spoon our dressing over both the meat and the salad. And then we'll bring this to the table as well so people can add a little bit more. Now, making it pretty, but also delicious. Our mint, cilantro, green onions, and the coup de gras, some chopped peanuts. And that is Thai beef salad. Throw on your voice and grab your boy.